Um, here with Tim Rowe from the BMC team. Uh, Tim, last season was sort of derailed by that hip injury. Can you tell us uh, what's the status of the injury? Uh, at the moment, I've made a bit of progress in the last little week on the on the hip, and I'm I'm more confident now that I'll be able to get on top of it before the season starts or before. I mean, once I get over a year, I hope that I can yeah fix it up and get back to in the swing of things. But was that was that just? I mean, was it just a matter of you know you, you said you told me last year that the world tour was obviously a big jump up and you were you're finding it hard. Is that because uh, you know you're pushing bigger gears and that's what exacerbated the injury or? Uh, yeah, I think I think that's definitely made it worse. I didn't I didn't expect the pros. I, I knew it was going to be hard, but um, the level they do races sort of blew me away this year. And I was like going from being a quite a good climber in back in the sort of the under 23 stuff to being the first 10 guys and kind of get dropped. So I was like, it was a wake up call, and that definitely. And uh, this year I worked out like found out that you have to try to be as perfect as you can for your body and whatever. So uh, try to like get everything right. And, um, yeah, so I took this time now to try to fix my body and hopefully I can just concentrate and run the bike soon. Besides the injury, have you found that you're, you're feeling a lot stronger otherwise? I mean, is the strength there compared to last year? Yeah, I definitely feel a lot stronger now. And, um, yeah, the team, um, we're doing the amount of races I've been doing, increasing the workload, the body's got stronger and you get used to sort of... You get used to the tours and your body, yeah, I suppose you don't fatigue, uh, I mean, still fatigue, but you know, not like when you're younger and you're, yeah, you know what to expect and, yeah, like I, I go back, head back to the um, Europe now knowing knowing what the race is like and I have a better understanding, so I know how to prepare and train for that. Looking back to last year, I mean, did you find, can you tell me about Cadell's Tour de France win? You're inside the team, you're watching the race, was it? even more powerful for you, you're an Australian as well? Yeah, it was awesome to see Cadell win the Tour and um, I mean, he, uh, I think he deserved it the most out of everybody, I think it was pretty clear the way he rode and um, yeah, and also what was cool was the reaction of everyone back, I was over in Italy at the, when it happened, but it was also the reaction of everyone back home, all my, all my friends and um, family and that, everyone was behind it, my son made sure um, went, uh, had tears when he won, so it was pretty cool to see that and see how much a Australian cycling got behind Cadell, it was good. And what about, you, you will miss the Tour Down Under, which is sort of your home race in a lot of ways, but in a way, will that perhaps help you go better later in the season? Last season, in, in the past, you've, you've ridden the Tour Down Under and then gone straight into the season. Do you think this might help? Yeah, yeah for sure. I definitely, um, when I got told, uh, when the team, I was talking to the team about, like, when I didn't make the progress I wanted, I was like, uh, when, they said maybe it's a good idea not to do it down under. And I took, yeah, it's definitely a good opportunity to head back to Europe with, um, with the body better and doing racing early in the season. Some guys say it's not good for the rest of the season. So, yeah, we'll see. And, um, yeah, I mean, where really counts is over there, I suppose. It's really cool this race for me and it's an it's a awesome race. Lots of people, but um, Europe's quite hard, so you've got to be prepared for that. And where do you gauge, uh, I mean, what, what are you sort of working towards in terms of feeling like you're 100% again? You know, is there a race that you're going, I want to be 100% for them, hopefully? or? Uh, yeah, I mean, every, well, I mean, as soon as I'm racing, I want to be as good as I can. And I sort of so prove my worth within the team and um, do my job, whatever that may be, and do it as best I can. That's, that's my goal, and yeah, I'm hoping to achieve that this year. And this year, just... Are there any results that you're really looking to try and put on the Palmares or? Not really, I don't um, know my program exactly yet, but um, I mean, I feel the race I'll be doing are uh, similar to last year, so hopefully I can, I can see, what hap see what's happening and see if, there, if there's an opportunity for me, I'll definitely be willing to take and hopefully I'm going to do that too, so. Tim Rowe, thanks for talking to us. No